A fresh attempt to end the political paralysis in Malaysia. The country's former ruling coalition is in the spotlight once more as the one that could break the impasse. The coalitions that won the most seats in last Saturday's election, Pakatan Harapan and Prikatan Nasional, can't form a government on their own. The king, meanwhile, has scheduled a special meeting with his fellow rulers tomorrow to try to end the post-poll stalemate. They're set to discuss the formation of the new government and who should be the country's 10th prime minister. Local media, Malaysia Kini, is reporting the incumbent coalition Barisan Nasional as saying that the king has decreed that BN's 30 elected MPs must take part in the unity government. Now, this matter is expected to be deliberated at UMNO and BN Supreme Council meetings that are convening tonight. For more, CNA Zafifa Arifin joins us live. She's in Kuala Lumpur, standing by at the UMNO headquarters in the World Trade Center. Afifa, BN and UMNO, they're set to have a council meeting this hour. What do we know about that meeting? That's right. So some of the UMNO leaders and later some of the Barasan national leaders will be coming here to their headquarters uh, for a meeting. That meeting is expected to start at about eight, but we are still seeing uh, some of the leaders just slowly arriving to this building. It's understood that it will be a Supreme Council meeting, basically to settle all of the internal disagreements that they have within the coalition. We know that this morning, the 30 Barisan national MPs were supposed to have an audience with the king because the king wanted to have an individual face-to-face -face session with all of the 30 MPs, but not all of them turned up at the palace. In fact, it was only Barisan National's chief, Ahmad Zaid Hamidi, as well as his deputy, Mohammed Hassan, um, who turned up there. Uh, tonight's meeting also comes after, you know, a series of discussions and intense negotiations the whole of today. This, of course, includes that meeting among some BN leaders uh, together with Prikatan National at San Regis this afternoon. We were there and we spotted uh, the arrivals of caretaker Prime Minister as well Sabri, as well as the UMNO uh, Deputy President Mohammed Hassan. Now, according to some BN leaders who were there, um, some Supreme Council members, they said that that meeting, at that meeting, Barisan Nasional presented to Prikatan Nasional the terms of which uh, they were discussed. They were discussing with Pakatan Harapan and that they expect a counter offer from Prikatan Nasional in writing by tonight. Afifa, Barisan Nasional it seems to be the deciding factor on whether Pakatan Harapan or Perikata Nasional can form the new federal government, but there seems to be some internal divisions. You know, it's day four after the general elections and there's still so much uncertainty in the air. No government form, no prime minister candidate yet. Amno and Barisan Nasional have found themselves in this really unusual position in the sense that they are the kingmakers. Um, and although they have been clear that they do not want to support either Pakatan Harapan or Prikatan Nasional as well, uh, there are, they, we know that there are a lot of internal disagreements, not just between the grassroots as well as the party leadership, but among the senior leaders leadership members within the party as well. There's been growing calls by party members for the coalition's chief, Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, to step down from his position. The calls come from, you know, senior leaders such as the MCA president, uh, Wee Ka Siong, who said that Zahid Hamidi should resign and the deputy, Mohammed Hassan, should take over, especially as Zahid Hamidi needs to take responsibility for Barisan Nasional's poor performance uh, at the recent general elections. Now, some Barisan leaders, uh, like Amno Yu Chief, Ashraf Wajdi had also uh, confirmed the, the, the sessions with Prikatan Nasional uh, this afternoon, had raised many issues that were very different from what was discussed uh, at the Supreme Council meetings yesterday. Another leader had also said that that letter sent to the palace uh, by Zahid Hamidi saying that all of the BNMPs pledged their support to Anwar Ibrahim was something that was a very contentious issue. There was uproar here at the Supreme Council meetings when Zahid admitted that he did in in fact, send that letter to the king. And this is something that the Barisan Nasional uh, leaders disagreed with. So there's still a lot of, you know, disagreements. Uh, there's disunity. Uh, there is no clarity just yet on what Barisan Nasional's position is right now. And all this comes ahead of that meeting tomorrow that the king is calling upon the council of rulers, all the sultans from the various states, uh, for him to have a discussion with them before he makes a decision on who to appoint as the government and the next prime minister of Malaysia. All right, Afifa, thank you very much for that. Afifa Arafin uh, speaking to us there from Kuala Lumpur.